Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. A man makes a case for Midi Martins, who has been accused of abandoning her brother for 19 good years. Earlier on, Midi Martins, who had previously chosen the silent route, had to come out online to share her own part of the story on exactly what happened while she left her brother, Damilari, for 19 good years. And according to her, she had asked her the custody of Damilari, but then she was rejected so many times. And even when they lost their mother, it was not all rosy for her. She went through hard times. However, she didn't go into the details of exactly what happened during those periods. And she said that her survivor was by the grace of God. But even after a public apology, a lot of Nigerians still found her apology and explanation amiss as they claim that she does not sound genuine, together with Sessional you know, Peters. And as earlier reported, a lot of Nigerians have been preaching love and lots of Yoruba actors and actresses are preaching second chance. A popular Yoruba filmmaker, Elijah Tolulo Parutimi, who goes by the name Originator, is also a director, writer, and an actor, defend Mide Martins when she made this apology. We know how lovely and caring you are. You even give to those who are not your family members, not to talk of your blood brother. I knew there was more to this story than what it has been blocked. Love you always. However, some people still think otherwise. Like a social media user who goes by the name Sanusi Oluwakemi, she says that some people are nice outside, but their immediate family members will not enjoy that. And this is very common among Egba people. If they don't escalate this matter now, you will not ask for this custody. And what I notice is that Madame Mide does not have a cordial relationship with her uncle. Thank God the boy is mature enough, as your uncle said. And he has his own personal account, so let's people help this boy out. And thereafter, anybody from the family that wants to contribute can go ahead. And also, some people went ahead to attack Sanusi Oluwakemi in the comment section. Atinuke they also added that Yoruba people are full of deceit. In our words, we are always scared of saying the truth, and you are right about the Yoruba people. They are Adaranit Ahmad Badunile. Medium Martins, you know at all. We all struggle to make it in life. I remember that your mama started me to use. If not, who will know you? Damn Larry has invocated and your mom's spirit is awake. All in all, a lot of people are preaching second chance for this star Yoruba actress, Midi Martins. And saying that, after all, it is right for her to come out now and do the right thing. Midi Martins had earlier run, said her own small part of the story and issued an apology. But then she said she would not go into the details. And we all know that there are always two sides to a car, two sides of a story. Hello everyone, my name is Midi Martins. I would like to tell my little part of my own side of the story. Firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone who had contributed greatly to the ongoing issue. And also apologize sincerely to everyone that I might have hurt or disappointed in any way. I'm deeply sorry from the death of my heart. I didn't want to say anything about this all as well because I believe it's a family issue which should rather be settled amicably between ourselves rather than being dragged on social media. Anyone who knows me very well would know that I'm a private person. I personally do not really like sharing or celebrating on social media. Some things relating to my family, like the Ahana remembers ceremony of my late mother, Fumi Martins, which I duly observe every year in honor of her memory. When my mom, late Fumi Martins, passed away 19 years ago, my whole world was shattered, devastated, crumbled, broken, lowly, without anyone's support. How I managed to survive through the storm is only by the special grace of God. Damn Larry was living with my grandma back then in Abakuta and I was doing all that I could to take care of him. Until a few years ago, when she also passed on and Damn Larry was taken to live with my uncle. I had requested custody of my brother Damn Larry several times, even before grandma died, but was denied. Damn Larry is my blood brother. It is not possible for me to neglect him. But there is much more to this story than you all know, which I'm sorry I will not go into the details because it is a family matter. I'm not a heartless person, despite the fact that I don't have it all. The little I have, I give all that. However, I just want to ask for a favor. Can Dan Larry be finally released to me? Can I have my brother Dan Larry? I promise to take good care of him in my own little way. May God help me soon. Thank you, everyone. God bless every family out there. And this lover's blog, the popular blog that brought this story into the limelight and made everyone know exactly what has been happening, said, This is the Edmondam Larry that we were all expecting. And they added that she should go and say no more. Who is Fumi Martins? Fumi Martins, the mother of this popular actress, Midi Martins, was formerly Fumi Ogunzomi and she was born in Elisha, in Ocean State. She was a popular star actress before she passed on. She spent her early life in Lagos State and Ibadan. For her primary education, the late Fumi Martins attended Okeono Primary School and she attended grammar school in Abeokuta for her secondary school education. From there, she attended Bipo Secretary Institute where she backed a diploma in secretarial studies 
Thereafter, she dabbled into modeling before veering into acting. It was in the year 1993 that she starred in her very first movie, titled Nemesis, which was directed by Felix Duca. During her rather short-lived career, the late film artist managed to stay in dozens of movies. Some of them include Eroleo Rijal Modi, Etomi, Belumi, and so many others. These are some of her most notable works. The late Fumi Martins was so popular that she was even one of the most sought after actors in the mainstream Nollywood. Two weeks before she sadly passed that, she was featuring in the movie Adore to Uluwa, the movie of the veteran Yoba actor Antalani Nino. And it was reported that two months before she passed that, she had given birth to her third child and her last child. For the Afro Juju singer Sessional Peters, the music icon was said to be present at that naming ceremony while his band entertained the guests. She was said to have changed her name from Fumi. She was said to have changed her name to Fumi Peters at that event. Her three children were also reportedly named after Sessional Peters. And this her last child was named Akombi Ayomi Bodam Larry Peters, whom is the same boy now that Midi Martins has been accused of abandoning for 19 good years. The love they said they shared was so strong that Fumi Martins reportedly left her former residence at 308 Agiki Road in Challenge Bus Stop Emotion for Jushaga where she could be closer to her lover, Sessional Peters. In this case, Sessional Peters has also been dragged along by the court of social media and a lot of Nigerians has been bashing him. However, he also came out to ask for forgiveness and related his own part of the story. This was what he said, I'm no longer a kid. I'm now over 60. I'm using this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who showed love to me during this period. People will judge me without hearing my side of the story. I say thank you to you too. What happened is that there's a lot to say and we're all adults. How can I abandon my child? How much more would it cost me? I have taken care of many children. So how come it is that Milari that I didn't take care of? It has a reason and I'm not going to say it. I want everyone to know that myself and Dam Larry have been talking for three days now. Myself and Baba Diji, Dam Larry's uncle, are supposed to meet tomorrow. Everything a parent is supposed to do for a child, I'm telling you all that I won't disappoint any of you. I've taken care of millionaires and billionaires. I only want to beg everyone not to turn him into a beggar. There are lots of reasons behind why I didn't do this before but now we take care of him and do my best he has done job like one or two times from what i've heard and i know god will help me to take care of him and i will take care of him and send him to the university we will all meet tomorrow so this was sessional peter's apology and according to media matters and sessional peters they are now ready to take their full responsibility on dan milari who was 40 days old when the late former martins passed on they have come to the end of this episode where a man defends the yoruba actress media martins who allegedly abandoned her brother for 19 years and he says that we know how loving and caring you are we hope you enjoyed this episode and next one or two new things subscribe and and hit the bell icon for our daily content.